Okay, hi, 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 welcome to my video. So, uh, this video is about how to use the um, minimize function in SciPy to find minimum of a function. But uh, there will be some difference that I will introduce in this video. Uh, so, what is the difference? The difference is not only we will use the minimums supporting function from SciPy to find the minimum of a function but the function itself it has some constraints when you need to find the minimum so for example if I have a um, function distance between two points I want to find the minimum distance between these two points so if when you hear about the problem it's very vast that's why there should be some constraint to this function distance. So what what are the constraints? As you could see, this is the distance between two points. The first point including the coordinate of x1 and y1 and the second point include uh, let me check with the pen, yeah. The first point, this is our first point x1, y1 and the second point is x2 and y2. The constraint of these two points are the point x1 and y1 should belong to the function f1 and the point x2, y2 should belong to function f2 that the constraints you cannot choose randomly a point for example here or here to find the distance no the distance the distance that we need to find the minimum distance that we need to find belong to a point one of them belong to points one of them is on the f2 function and one of them is on the f1 function so that's the constraints um, so this is the minimize function from scipy there are two important arguments that we need to pay attention to is the minimizing function and the initial guess so we have that According to the um, document of the minimize SciPy function online, you can check it online. This function should have the form of function x, only one argument. If you pass in a function, this form x and x2, for example, you have more than two arguments. It the minimize function of SciPy will report an error. That's why this minimizing function should have this form. So, um, but you could see that the distance function that we need to find the minimums doesn't have such a form. It should pass in many things just to have the points, right? So that's why we use a wrapper function minimizing outside of the distance function. So this is our distance function. So the minimizing will will be the wrapper of the distance so that when we pass in this minimizing it will satisfy the condition of the minimize SciPy. Okay, so we solve one problem. But the other problem is how could we define the constraints for our points that we need to make sure the points the first point belongs to the f1 function and the second point belongs to the f2 function. So, um, from here you could see the guess, the guess argument is the x, like the guess argument will be the argument passed in this minimizing function. The guess will be something passed in this function and what are the values of this guess? Actually, we just want to guess the x coordinate of each point. First, we just guess about the x coordinate of each point. For example, for the first point, I will guess x1 will be somewhere here, and for the second point, I will guess x2 will be somewhere here. And might be those two points will give me 
a close value to the minimum of the distance but I don't know because it's only my guess so here I guess the x1 is 3 and the x2 is 6 so I pass in the x coordinates of the two points how could I make sure that the point belong to for example x1 from the x1 I will have a point belong to f1 and from the x2 I will have a point belong to f2 this is where we do the constraints first I need to extract because the x includes two x coordinates I will say I assume that the first value in the guess x here is the x coordinate of the first point belong to f1 function and the second value is the x coordinate of the second point belong to the f2 so to make sure that the point that will pass in here belong to the f1 so we just have to pass in the x coordinate into a defined function f and we just pass in the x coordinate of f2 into the function f2 so when we pass in the x coordinate to f1 this function will return to us a point belong to the f1 function and with this defined f2 function we pass in the x coordinate of the second point then it will return us the second point on the f2 so now we got our constraints clarified so thanks to this minimizing function we can have a function satisfy the requirement of the minimizing scipy and also we can specify the constraints of the point that we need to find for the minimum so um, so here is the distance function the distance function here is this one and we pass in what here what what do we pass in here uh, you could see there are two arguments and this arguments please don't mistake the x1 is the x1 coordinate of this point no the x1 is the whole point is a point representing a point with two coordinates x and y x2 is also a point representing a point belong to f2 with two coordinates x and y so we have two points here x1 is a point belong to f1 and x2 is a point belong to f2 because it's a point that's why x1 should have a form of an array with two values one values for x coordinate and the other values for the y coordinate similarly for the form of x2 so from that we can easily extract the x coordinate and the y coordinate of the first point and the x coordinate the y coordinate the, the second point and from there we can easily compute the distance according to this formula um, but how could I make sure that from the first point x1 the first value is the x coordinate and the second value is the y coordinate it depends on how you define the function because here I define my function f1 from where the f1 function will receive the x coordinate and return a point belong to that f1 function belong to the f1 function means it lies on the point returns by f1 should lies on the blue line and the point returned by f2 should lie on the orange line so that's what it means from here you could see that I return a form of x coordinate first and then the value for the y coordinate later so x1 will have this form this is the form of x1 of the point that I pass in so for the first value is the x coordinate so for sure the index 0 is for the x coordinate and the second one with the index 1 is the y coordinate similarly for f2 so you should be careful about how you define to return a point from a function 
it will change whether the x is the first value or the second value totally depends on how you define the function so I think that um, I somehow give the explanation quite a little bit clear for the code that we need to use and now I will demonstrate how we run this code with a scipy minimizing function and um, as you could see this language that I use is Python and Python but I run the Python not on my local computer I use a account from Google with a Google account a free Google account you can create some Google Collab. Google Collab is where you can run your Python code easily without installing anything just have a Google account you open the drive Google Drive and within Google Drive you install Google Collab and you just open one form from Google Collab and you can type in the Python code and just press run so here you could see all of my code here is um, totally similar to what I explained in the slide um, there's one thing uh, this is where I run the minimize function from scipy here you just need to pay attention to the minimizing function and the initial guess don't care about the callback callback function is just an azole, mm, like additional function that I use to print out the progress of the scipy minimizing you don't need to have this callback function in order to run the minimize to have the um, minimum that we need to find so let's run and we'll see sorry we need to wait for a little while because I just open it in drive so it takes a little while to run the code now I think it runs successfully so this is the um, progress of the minimized scipy and from the from here I didn't print what the information represents so just a little bit quick this one is the uh, number for the iteration and this one is the value the first guess value of the x coordinate at the first point and this one is the x coordinate of the second point guessing and here is the current distance belong to those two points so as you could see pay attention to the fourth column where the distance the value of the distance function decreases decreases until around like the 15 16 to 17 iteration the value doesn't change anymore it means the scipy function reaches the minimum and in order to print out this minimum and also our value here uh, because minimize return some result and the result is stored in minimum variable I specify here so just print the minimum and you have everything you have the minimum of your function and where would be the values of the x coordinates to achieve this minimum distance I hope that it's gonna be clear about uh, how to use scipy minimize function I will put the code in the comment section of the video and if you want to know something more and I know the answers just please leave a comment and I will answer thank you see you